Well, here it is. A mini etching press on its way to Taiwan, close to China. I'm Bill Ritchie, and I have a story to tell you. Uh -huh. Ten years ago, in June of 2004, I built this press, along with the help of a friend, the first mini etching press. And today, I'm sending about the 140th, maybe 150th press I've made over the last 10 years. But this is a special one. It's special because when I was building the first one, with all the hours of handwork and crafting and testing and learning how to do a business, in all that time, my creative mind came up with a story. Partly because people would say, where did you get the idea of putting wood on an etching press? And I made up a story to answer the, that question. The story goes that it wasn't really my idea, that the idea started in Spain in the 1700s when a group decided to open trade with China. Of course, in the 1700s, that was a big undertaking, but they believed that there'd be a lot of money to be made. And so, according to stories they'd heard, the Chinese were interested only in things of great beauty. And in order to introduce a Western-style printing press into that world, it would have to be beautiful. And so they got the idea of commissioning a steel right and a guitar maker, a luthier, to uh, design a press that was beautiful and functional. And so they covered it with wood, uh, beautiful wood and polish and so forth. And off they went on a sailing ship. Unfortunately, the sailing ship was smashed not far from here in the Puget Sound. And the presses all went to the bottom except one, and that's another side story. But anyway, the point is, they never made it. Well, today I'm sending a half-wood press to Taiwan, which is almost China, and uh, so close by. And I'm um, sending it to an artist there. Actually, it's the second press to go to Taiwan. And so with this press, sending it to another artist, uh, I feel like, finally, the Halfwood Press has arrived. And this is a special one, too. It was actually intended for an American here, but he was unable to finish paying for it on time. And so this one, a purple heart, uh, is going. It has this special medallion on it. It has uh, uh, special feet. I think it's wenge feet. Uh, the end cap is uh, set with a brass medallion, a badge and it has a little edging on it. It's very well crafted because I, like I did in 10 years ago, was spending a lot of time uh, myself on making them beautiful as if they were works of art. Well, I wanted to share that little piece of insight. Sometimes when I'm working here in the gallery by myself, I don't have anyone to talk to, but I still have ideas, and I know that out there in video land or computer land or on the Internet, that uh, I do have potential for someone hearing my story. So there you go. I'm Bill Ritchie and thanks for watching this.